This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have an LG washing machine with the OE error and it's not draining so we're going to be replacing the drain pump. So got it unplugged. I'm taking a Phillips head screwdriver and removing two screws from the front here. These are actually white screws, Phillips head, and they're helping to hold on this bottom panel. Some LG washing machines don't have this bottom panel. The ones with the bottom panel that's removable makes it really easy. On the other models, you have to lean the unit back so you can come up from underneath to get to the pump. So this one's actually really easy. This is also the same on the LG washer dryer model that combines the washing and drying. So I'm just pulling off this uh, bottom panel. And again, this is a little bit unusual, very easy procedure on this machine because it's the pump is so accessible. But most of the models, um, you can uh, remove the top and then you can end up removing the front panel, which is makes it pretty easy to get to, but there's a lot more disassembly. Or a faster way is you can lean it, lean it against the wall at about 45 degrees and come up from underneath it because there's a big opening underneath that allows you to get to the pump. But it's a little awkward. So in this model, pretty easy. Once you get this um, panel out of the way, you just have to uh, remove a few screws to get to the pump. So we're removing these three Phillips head screws that are holding the pump in place. We're not going to be removing any of the hoses that connect to the pump. You really don't have to. We're just going to get the pump and move it up so we can access three Phillips head screws that are holding the pump motor onto the pump assembly. So before we do that though, we're going to, we have it unplugged, we're going to pull these uh, power wires off of the pump. And I'm going to use a pair of pliers to give me, give me a little more leverage. So pull those off. And now I'm going to grab the pump and I'm going to lift it, push in, and then lift it up a little bit so I have better access to the three Phillips head screws that are holding it on. One thing that's unusual about the pump, if you look at the motor, it's angled at about 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle going upward. So when we put the new pump on, new pump motor, we have to make sure it goes on at that same angle. So here we're lifting it up. You can kind of see this white covering on the pump motor is pointing up toward 45 degrees. Like on a clock, it would be, if you're looking at it, it'd be like uh, probably about 10 o'clock. So we have to make sure the new motor goes on the same way. And here's those three Phillips head screws we have to remove. So there's one there, and there's one more at the top, and then there's one more at the bottom. And you just need a long Phillips head screwdriver to get in there because it has to kind of clear the pump motor. Once you get those screws out, you can just pull the old motor off and then you can put the new one on. You have to kind of replace this white plastic cover too. It just slips right on. And then once you get those uh, in position, you tighten those screws really tight so that the uh, motor's on there nice and tight. And then you're just going to put the motor assembly back where it was and then you put the three Phillips head screws that are holding it onto the frame back in and you're pretty much done. So it's a really quick procedure on this model. So those are the screws we have to take off to get the motor off and the same ones we're going to tighten to get the new motor on. So it should only take you about 20 to 30 minutes to do this whole procedure. So then the whole motor just comes right off after you get the screws off. Here's the motor you can get from Amazon. They're only about 25 bucks. You can get it through Prime, get it for free shipping. And this is an original part, so this should last about three and a half to four years. So we have the new motor on. A little bit of water came out. I got the power wires put back on. I got the three Phillips head screws holding it onto the frame. And I uh, let some water go in. I'm just testing it to make sure that it's able to drain. It's doing great. The old one, the uh, impeller that spins, had broken free of the shaft on the motor. So the motor was spinning, but it wasn't able to move the impeller 
Since the impeller couldn't move, it wasn't able to move any water. Pretty common for the LG washing machine. So I'm just testing it and setting it to spin. And then <clears throat> I want to be able to hear it uh, drain and see all the water leave from inside. So again, this model is probably the easiest one for uh, replacing the drain motor. So we'll go ahead and put this panel back on. So we're going to feed the hose through. We're going to set the bottom panel back down on three um, slots there at the bottom. Then we'll just push it shut. It'll lock into position. We just have to add two white Phillips head screws that hold that bottom panel on, putting the hose back into position. You want to make sure you get all the water out before you remove that pump motor, otherwise you get a lot of water coming out at you. Put the cover back on. Oh yeah, just gotta make sure we add those screws back in. And that's it. Back working great. So that's a really easy procedure on that model. Hopefully, hopefully this will help you with your LG washing machine. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe when you get a chance, and we'll send you a lot more videos on fixing your appliances at home. Thanks again for watching.